Once upon a time, in the enchanting realm of Neverland, there lived a mischievous and tiny fairy named Tinkerbell. She was known far and wide for her sparkling personality and her remarkable talent for fixing things. With her tiny golden wand, she could mend broken acorn caps and sew together the petals of wilted flowers. Tinkerbell was adored by all the inhabitants of Neverland, especially her closest friend, Peter Pan. Peter Pan, the eternal child, was the guardian of Neverland, a place where time stood still and no one ever grew old. Together with his lost boys, Peter led a carefree life filled with adventures, battling pirates led by the notorious Captain Hook and exploring the vast wonders of the magical island. One bright and sunny day, while Peter and the Lost Boys were off on one of their grand adventures, Tinkerbell found herself feeling rather bored. She had grown tired of mending pots and pans, and she longed for something more exciting. As she sat on a dew-kissed leaf, contemplating her options, an intriguing thought crossed her mind. She had heard tales of a mystical portal hidden deep within the heart of Neverland, a portal that led to a place unlike any other, a place known as Hell. Now, Hell was not what most people imagined. It wasn't a fiery pit of torment and suffering, but rather a realm of eternal chaos and unpredictability. Tinkerbell had heard that time flowed differently there, and she couldn't help but be drawn to the idea of experiencing something so utterly different from her peaceful life in Neverland. With a twinkle in her eye and a mischievous grin, Tinkerbell decided to embark on an adventure of her own. She knew that the portal to hell was said to be hidden in the deepest, darkest corner of Neverland, where few had ever ventured. So, she gathered her courage, packed a tiny satchel with some essential tools, and set off on her quest. As Tinkerbell journeyed deeper into the wild and untamed parts of Neverland, she encountered creatures she had never seen before, strange and wondrous beings that were as curious about her as she was about them. She made friends with talking animals, befriended mischievous sprites, and even had a run-in with the elusive and enigmatic shadow. Days turned into weeks as Tinkerbell ventured further and further into the uncharted territories of Neverland. The landscape grew more surreal and otherworldly with each step, and Tinkerbell marveled at the beauty of it all. She crossed crystal-clear streams, explored mysterious caves, and danced with bioluminescent fireflies under the light of a thousand stars. Eventually, Tinkerbell reached the fabled location where the portal to hell was said to reside. Standing before a colossal, gnarled tree with roots that seemed to stretch into infinity, she realized that she had come to the right place. Without hesitation, she used her tiny golden wand to unlock the secrets of the portal and stepped through. What awaited Tinkerbell on the other side was beyond her wildest imagination. Hell was a kaleidoscope of swirling colors, floating islands, and surreal landscapes. Time flowed erratically, causing moments to stretch into eternity, and then snap back to reality in an instant. Tinkerbell felt like she had entered a dream within a dream, a place where reality and fantasy intermingled in the most bewildering ways. In Hell, Tinkerbell encountered a cast of eccentric characters, each with their own peculiar quirks and talents. She befriended a talking cat who could recite Shakespearean sonnets, danced with a one-legged pirate who had lost his way, and played chess with a sentient whirlwind. Every day brought a new adventure, a new challenge, and a new delight. But as Tinkerbell spent more time in hell, she began to notice a change within herself. The chaos and unpredictability of the realm were starting to affect her in unexpected ways. Her once orderly thoughts 
became scattered, and her normally precise tinkering skills began to falter. She found herself longing for the simplicity and stability of her life in Neverland. One day, as she stood on the edge of an ever-shifting cliff overlooking a bottomless abyss, Tinkerbell realized that it was time to go home. She had experienced the wonders of hell, but she had also learned that there was something truly special about the tranquility and familiarity of Neverland. With a heavy heart, she used her golden wand to find the portal back to her beloved If you liked this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe our channel as well as press the bell icon.